Major news for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, especially Meghan, that I didn't even expect. So this is huge. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. Click that button, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. Please click that subscription button, then click all notifications when you do, because I'm putting out fresh content every single day on this channel. But we have to get into this, where major news for Meghan Markle. Prince Harry and wife Meghan Markle are officially now producing two upcoming Netflix shows, not one, but two, that will focus on cooking and a US polo championship, the streaming service said on Thursday. The projects are part of a multi-year deal between Netflix and Archwell Productions, which was founded by the royal couple in 2020 after they stepped down as senior members of Britain's royal family and moved to the US. The first new series will focus on cooking, gardening, entertaining, and friendship. The show is being created by Markle, who is serving as an executive producer. The second series will follow the US Open Polo Championship in Wellington, Florida, and offer a look at the competition and the polo industry's social scene. Markle and Prince Harry are both executive producers of the polo show. Both series are in early production and will have titles and release dates announced in the coming months, Netflix said. This is what Kate and William are missing. This is what they are missing. And I really want to get into this and break this down. First and foremost, major congrats to Meghan Markle for the fact that, you know, not only will Netflix be producing not one, but two shows, Cooking as well and Polo, but that the BBC have commissioned it. So whether people like it or not, everybody in the UK is going to be tuning in to watching Meghan Markle, a non-working royal anymore on Netflix shows. It's giving employment, it's giving success, it's giving booked out and busy. And via Archwell Productions, they were very careful and clever to create their own production company. Not only that, but as well with Harry winning for the fact that his recent cases with the mirror, the son losing around, um, you know, 66 million, Murdoch losing 90 million, all of that stuff, you know, and he's gaining all of this money. It's absolutely fantastic for them. But this is where Kate and William lost because I thoroughly believed in the notion of Fantastic Four, Kate, Meghan, Harry, and William all together. If, you know, if William and Kate were friendly to these two, it would have not only modernized the monarchy, but we would have had a plethora of Netflix shows and productions for all four of them, and it would have been absolutely entertaining to watch. I would have tuned into a Kate and Meghan podcast. I would have tuned into Prince Harry and Prince William are traveling to places and it's being documented, or like a car show, or them going to watch football matches, them doing things together, going on excursions would have been amazing for people to watch. It would have kept them all booked and busy. But William and Kate lost heavy bags of money by just, you know, being absolutely evil, unnecessary and rude to their counterparts, which just made zero sense. So this is major congrats to Meghan and Harry in this capacity. To see Meghan cooking with other people is going to be exciting to see. And the polo show, I don't know what I want to expect, but absolutely Netflix are one hour ago, it was just announced that got a family in Palestine have lost over 60 members because of an Israeli airstrike. Free Palestine all day, every day. I just saw that pop up and I just could not, like I had to speak about it. Um, free Palestine. Moreover, um, I do believe that, you know, Megan has a great relationship with Netflix after the, you know, whatever documentary they had released. And we're going to see more be produced via them. And I can't wait you know, to get into that. But it's giving success, it's giving booked out, it's giving busy, it's giving she won. It's giving trust your intuition. That's what it's giving. Trust your intuition. Absolutely here for it. I think it's fantastic news. Big shout out to Megan for, you know, persevering in this matter. Now, speaking of William, we did discuss yesterday that he basically was set to disappear uh, for the fact that there were no public speaking engagements confirmed for the rest of this working year, but it was claimed that this man was returning end of Easter, which made absolutely no sense. Well, it looks like our intuition sorry i just love doing that sorry guys i just sorry um our intuition was definitely correct because it's been confirmed um that prince william plans return to duties as a work from home or royal now what the hell is a work from home royal we are no longer living in a covid pandemic what the hell is a work from home royal do you ever think that queen elizabeth would have been a work from home even king charles would have been working from home like i don't understand what is becoming of this you know tainted you know lack thereof progressive monarchy where this man thinks that he can just sit there work from home not doing any work 
nannies look after your children after the few excursions that you have with, with your child and your and your rest of the children getting paid nearly a hundred thousand a day as far as i'm concerned your work from home royal what does that even mean um, I'm genuinely confused, but it looks like the man is not returning to full capacity for at least the remainder of this year. Um, so much so for the great Easter comeback for Kate and William. I was expecting to see her return to an event, a red carpet coming out of a car in a beautiful dress and paps and photos and everything and their great comeback event. That's what I was expecting for Easter, but that has not taken place. She's not returning. He's now work from home royal and is set to disappear and barely make visits publicly with his children. I find to be very confusing. Yet again, another article. Kate Middleton has been working from home just like you. No, she has not, guys. What work does she have to do from home? What work is she doing from home? If she's not working from her laptop, which was an absolute lie, half the holidays with the children, never saw anything, and now she's working from home just like us. It's an absolute mockery. No, she's not. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Brings me back to the Spanish press. Let's bring that back into the fold again. They were the ones who claiming that, you know, all of these half time holidays, all of that stuff was an absolute lie from the palace and that she wasn't doing all of that. And yet again, I believe that to be true, she's not been working from home just like us. It doesn't make any sense. I'm not buying it. Um, next case, please, because I don't understand. The girl is not working from home. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and give this video a thumbs up. Please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It's just one click to subscribe. Look at the Burj Khalifa there. It's absolutely gorgeous, the way it's just shining. Um, I'm very much looking forward to these Netflix productions, these two new shows, these new series. You know, how many seasons will they have? Will they expand? Will we go into new... Like, I think, I mean, we already are expanding, to be honest with you. We've gone from a Netflix documentary to creating a relationship to producing two separate shows. You know, I think this is fantastic. I definitely will be tuning in to Megan and seeing what she's doing with other people on her cooking shows. And you best believe that evidently previous collaborations she had with Netflix did well ratings wise. Otherwise, from a business perspective, they wouldn't have given her two new shows on their platform. You don't give people new shows if your prior shows performed poorly as they claim. Subscribe, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Please do subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.